Hello friends, and welcome back to my channel. You know, I could name these gardening videos I was thinking. I could call them literally anything because my last name is Greens. So I could just be like, Abby's Greens, or Abby's Greenhouse. I don't know, but it all feels too legit for me because I'm silly and I don't know what I'm doing, but all of that is beside the point. Today I come to you very excited because I found these kits at the dollar store. This one is Grow Your Own Daisies and this one is Grow Your Own Lavender. And in the past they've had these kits at the dollar store but they've only had like tomatoes I think. And I, I don't need tomatoes. We grow them in the backyard and there's tons. But I'm excited for these. I have bought similar kits in the past. Um, and they've all failed. These are from the dollar store. I figured this is very low stakes but I just feel like it'd be fun to have my own lavender in here, right? cute, it'd be fragrant, it'd be nice, and then daisies are my favorite flower. So I bought both of these. I also really loved that the lavender one came in a purple um, pot. Um, which one should we start with? We're going to set these up. We're going to hope for the best, okay? Daisies. They both say easy to grow. Includes pot, quality seeds, premium grow mix, and detailed instructions. Okay, I guess we're starting with the daisies. The plants can be started indoors and eventually placed outdoors after danger of last frost. Best time to start your indoor kit is from mid-February until June. It is April. These are seeds. This is a dirt brick. Fill up a separate bucket or pot with two and a half cups of water um, of lukewarm water. Place pellet uh, in water and stir it until it is completely expanded. Once water has been completely absorbed, you can loosen the premium grow mix with a fork. For best results, leave it overnight for complete absorption. <sighs> and then carefully open the planter, or fill the planter with 90% of the seed mix and put the seeds and then the other 10% on top. Enclosed seeds do not need access to, access to sunlight in order to germinate. But they are slow germinators and may take up to four weeks to sprout. Oh my gosh, we're in this for the long haul. Place the planter in a warm spot of 20 degrees Celsius. This room is a million degrees, so that's fine. Keep grow mix moist best... <laughs> Keep grow mix moist. Spraying is best, but avoid soaking completely. It is important to feature plants when your seedlings reach 2 to 3 inches. Use a standard, preferable liquid fertilizer. And follow the instructions on the package. Give water regularly, but please do not overwater. Do not move your plants outside until the last frost. Don't eat the seeds. Okay, so it wants me to soak that overnight, so I'm gonna do that. But I'm because we're gonna have to come back to this video tomorrow, I guess. Um, we're gonna open the. I'm assuming this one will also say, "Please soak overnight." I ripped that one. I didn't even notice it had a nice little. Fill the planter with 100%. So the lavender wants you to fill it with 100% of the premium grow mix. And, oh, ooh, to recreate the seeds frost period before planting, carefully open the seed packet and place seeds in water for 30 minutes. Then fold them in a paper towel and store in the fridge freezer for two to three days. The enclosed seeds do need access to sunlight. So... They are very different. The, this one I have to fake a frost period and they do need access to sunlight. For best results, cover pot with saran wrap until seedlings show. Lift cover every day to ventilate. Carefully open the seed packet and place seeds in water for 30... Like, I don't understand what that means. Do I put the whole packet in water or do I take them out and put the individual seeds in water? The enclosed seeds... Then fold them in a paper towel and store in the fridge freezer for two to three days. You know in Sleeping Beauty when they're making the cake and it's two eggs fold in gently and she just folds the eggs into the batter? That's what I feel like. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta get two bowls. Did it say warm water? Two and a half cups of lukewarm water. Who's Luke and why is his water warm? That's stupid. I say that every time. And I do hate myself for it, just for the record. Two and a half cups. How many milliliters are in a cup? This is not going well for me. <laughs> Alright kids, I've got about two and a half cups of liquid in each of these. So we're just going to plop. Oh, 
those in. And then I'm going to leave the seeds in the right containers. I'm going to figure out what this means. To recreate the seeds frost period before planting, carefully open the seed packet and place seeds in water for 30 minutes. But like, how do I place them in water? How do I place them in water? This is my question. I will go ask my stepfather, for he is the son of a world-renowned rose grower. And I feel like that's something that you'd have to know to be the child of that person. There's like a spot in my floor here. It's like one specific piece of the fake wood that this table hates. And I can never get it to slide nicely over it. Literally, I asked my mom and her galaxy brain idea was to use one of Roger's food bowls. Actually, she said a lid for something. And then I thought of this, so teamwork. And we're just gonna pour the seeds. They're very small. You can't even see them on camera. I'm just gonna rip the bag open to make sure I got them all. So we're just gonna leave those little bug looking things in there for half an hour. I'm gonna set a timer. And then we're going to put them onto a paper towel, fold the paper towel, put the paper towel in a Ziploc bag. And then, what day is it today? Thursday. So maybe Saturday I can take them out and plant them. But I should be able to plant the daisies tomorrow. Alright friends, it's been half an hour. We're going to use this miscellaneous Starbucks spoon in an attempt to get the seeds out of the water. Then we're going to attempt to try to... Oh, fuck. None of this has gone like how I thought it would. <laughs> Instructions were unclear, okay? And then there's still... I need to inspect my finger to make sure they're all gone. Okay, it looks like they're all gone. We're all on here, and now I have no idea how to do this while holding the camera, but I'm going to fold this up and put it in a Ziploc bag that I'm not going to close, um, and then we're going to put this in the fridge. Maybe I will shut you off while I do this. I'm putting them in the drawer so that nobody bothers them, and then I'm closing the door. It's interesting, too, because they seemed like the same kind of dirt puck, but the lavender one has absorbed water way faster than the daisy one did. Like, but honestly, if I didn't have to do the, the lavender thing with them in the fridge for two to three days, I would feel like I could probably pot it soon. But when you get down deep into the daisy one, like, it's still really wet down here. There's still water pooling, so I just keep, like, turning the soil over, hoping it'll help. But interesting, eh? Okay, friends, it is the next morning. I can't plant the lavender yet because they have to sit in the fridge for the next couple of days. But I can plant the daisies. Oh my gosh, there's still, like, chunks of water. Should I get, like... I thought I could just pour it in, but I guess I can. I guess I gotta get a scoop. So the instructions for the daisies say 90% of the dirt goes in there. I know, I look like a straight-up actual, like, episode of Hoarders over there. Um, 90% of the dirt... And then... Put the seeds on, and then put the other 10% on over top. And it says it doesn't need light for them to germinate, but I have a really good spot by the light that I left for them. I'm trying so hard to do this with one hand while I hold my phone with the other and not make a mess. This is like straight up like the thickest dirt ever. I would never use this for like a normal house plant. But it's not a normal house plant, right? It's seeds. Maybe one more scoop and then 
We'll say that's 90%. Okay, do you agree that that's like maybe 10% left? I think so. Now these are some of the smallest seeds I have ever seen in my life. Come on camera, you see those? Is that it? Did it only give me like four? So straight up, I see like four seeds in here. One, two, three, sorry, five. Four or five, that's it. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna take the rest of the dirt now. And if we recall, on the packaging it says it can take up to four weeks for this to sprout. So that's the sunflowers, in a couple days we will do the lavender. Okay friends, it has been many weeks since we started this video. I'm gonna say eight, but I will do the actual math and write it on the screen because today is May 24th. Um, and I just wanted to kind of wrap this video up and tell you how the seeds are doing. So the daisies that we planted have sprouted and have like a second set of leaves now. So they ha there are not as far along as I thought they would be. I moved them from in my bedroom to outside because I thought they would get more light out there and so far they've been doing better out there. This is how they look right now. They're doing okay um, and we're just gonna leave them out there and I'll water them every couple of days to see how it goes. The lavender, on the other hand, is not doing good and I actually gave up on it a couple weeks ago because for some reason the lavender one kept knocking itself over and it never sprouted. Nothing ever happened, so I gave up and I put the soil in with my soil and just called it a day. Like that one, I don't even have anything to show you because it's done. A couple of weeks after the daisies did start to sprout though, I went out and I bought a new kit and I bought strawberries. So the strawberries will be will have been planted six weeks ago on the first, if that makes sense. Um, and they're sprouting. I've got two little sprouts in there. So hopefully I can grow strawberries, but um, that's how we're doing. I really, I don't know. <laughs> did I think this was gonna be faster? Yes, I did. I thought that like, by the time like two months had gone by, I'd have like a plant. Um, additionally, I didn't show you this, but on March 20th, I planted chamomile and I put them in like a little window box in my window. And that has actually sprouted quite a bit. That's grown probably the best out of every, anything I have ever planted in my life. And I just water that every time it starts to droop. And so far, so good. I bought chamomile because the flowers grow and they're just like mini daisies, right? So I thought they would look cute. It's interesting because I planted eight holes. Like I, I used my little diggy tool and made eight perfect holes. And there's like a cluster of three in this one area that have grown and nothing else. Very strange. Must just be how the sun hits it. But yeah, so, so so far, the chamomile, I guess, is doing the best out of everything. But the daisies are growing, and I'm not giving up on the strawberries yet. Although I've heard the strawberries are very difficult to grow. I bought them because they said easy grow, and then I got the kit home, and all of my friends were like, oh my god, strawberries are like the hardest thing I've ever grown. I just naturally pick all the difficult ones, I guess. And lavender, I have given up on for now. I'm sure we'll revisit it again someday because I'm just so determined to make lavender work for me. Same with rosemary. We're, I'm going to get there someday. It's just not this day. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on this seed journey with me. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time.